Today we have a mod that allows us to use the power of clicking to pop loons. Before we start, big thanks to Graham Cracker for making the mod and Robbie for the artwork. So if I go ahead and go and click on the bottom right icon over here, this will pull up a menu where there are, I believe, 11 upgrades that we can upgrade the clicker to. So stay tuned to see all 11 upgrades for now. Uh, I think we have to actually have to purchase to be able to click in the first place. So for 540, we can pop balloons with one damage to pierce every 1.05 seconds. More importantly, holding down the mouse button will continuously attack, but at a 30% slower rate. I quite like that addition because frankly, it, it, it definitely does seem like it'd be pretty annoying if I had to spam click come late game. I think once we get to uh, higher tiers that allow us to uh, click at a rapid rate, it might just be better to hold it down for, like, sanity's sake. In fact, I'm doing that right now just around 3. Look at me, can't even be bothered to uh, click the 10 times required to beat this round. Okay, I'll do some manual clicking for this round. I actually do have the money, I think, for the, the second tier upgrade. But let's just see how much we can fend off for now. So, uh, if I try to click any time before the 1.05 second period, it will not activate. And unfortunately, I cannot tank of it, uh, all of it without the help of road spikes. Okay, let's go to the next one. So Stronger Clicks now gets us uh, uh, double damage and three pierce. Love to see it. Also, I don't know if this is intended behavior, but sometimes when I'm clicking, like, there's a delay between it hitting the balloons, uh, say, on the outskirts of the click radius. I suppose that's maybe the quote-unquote splash effect. Like, watch here. Okay, nothing that time, but you see there. So apparently my mouse also ricochets. That's uh, very nice. Now, it appears my cursor is highlighted again. I've noticed a glowing thing. I think that means that, like, you now have the money to buy the upgrade. Thank you, Graham Cracker, for the quality of life edition. Now, rabbit clicks looks like we now have 0.7 second delay compared to 1.05. This means that now, if you hold down the mouse, our attack speed is basically similar to that of the previous tier. And I will take it. I am just, again, mega lazy to count the delay. I feel like, to me, it, it, it feels dissatisfying if I was spam clicking and not all my clicks were registering, if that makes any sense. Because I'm sure responsiveness is a big part, like, to how fun a game plays out for uh, a lot of people, myself included. Also, yes, I guess I'm challenging myself to not use any other towers in the meantime. Uh, I'm gonna have to actually use some manual clicking to beat round 9 there. I wonder how long I can solve with only the cursor. I don't think it- I don't know if it's gonna be enough to beat it, considering we're already fallen behind. I would love a bigger radius click upgrade when it comes to that. In fact, let me just... I'm gonna take a quick peek at the next upgrade. I'm kind of curious. So, for only $800, increase click radius and more damage and more pierce. And now, can hit camos. Awesome. Alright, time to employ some manual clicking because this round's really dense. And again, I'm getting that ricochet action. Three, 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 and bam. So, let's see in action. Bigger click radius. I'm seeing a bigger, I guess, uh, ricochet. See that? For it being that spaced apart. Now that I got a kind of half-decent upgrade, I think I'm gonna just try to rush Ben. Even though, uh, as it stands, I'm struggling. I could probably use a click upgrade. If I get Ben earlier, it'll just mean the future rounds after this are easier. So, uh, just playing the long game here, hoping we can survive with our 100 lives. Uh, yep, Benny Boy here was definitely a good choice. Because I think after this round, nice, we have a uh, highlighted... Clicker, which means we can now buy explosive clicks. Four damage now, with an explosion that does one damage with three pierce. Attack rate, faster as well. I do like that the price increases are very reasonable, as in, like, there is a feeling of progression rather than, you know, having to be stuck at a weak upgrade for so long. Also, oh no, no. Now that I upgrade to explosive, I can't pop black loons. Well, so much for a solo. <laughs> The worst part, too, is that because this is not even a tower, I can't give a MIB on it, so... I'm gonna need to rely on some of the pop black and zebras for, uh, I guess, I don't know, until I get... Until a future upgrade allows us to pop them. But I suppose that's a trade-off for, like, some insane damage, because this is, like, destroying rounds, like, well, 22, for example. See these whites? I can beat them all, almost all of them, before we get to the black balloons. All right. And again, Ben, look how quickly we're getting upgrades. Hypersonic clicks. Now we have even faster attack speed, 0.4 seconds delay, and more pierce, more explosion radius, and pops black ones. Okay, so it's only one upgrade where we were stuck, stuck with it. I'm perfectly okay with that. So let's just sell the dart monkey because I guess we don't really need it. And yeah, again, here's how Hulk click is doing for us. Pretty well, teams. 
Yeah, not a problem with the explosive darts, that's for sure. Now, on a slightly unrelated but also related topic, this mod has actually kind of made me wonder, how many times have I clicked using my mouse during my lifetime? Because it's, it's got to be up in the millions, considering, much like probably most of you guys, I am on the internet every day, at least on my PC every day. Or maybe the odd vacation here and there, but yeah. Sometimes it's kind of hard to fathom, like, the sheer amount of times you've done a routine task. When you scale it to, like, the timeline of, of, your, of your lifetime. Like, just recording this run alone, I will probably end up having clicked thousands of times. Although, again, because I can hold down, probably will save a good amount of that. We have darts right now, by the way. $8,100. And now they don't explode an impact. They now shoot out four small darts in a cross-like pattern. Each with more damage. Five pierce. Pops any type of balloon. Let's see. Wow, that is... That is dangerous. That is dangerous. And again, I'm noticing the ricochet. See that? When I when I click and there's like a bunch of balloons spaced apart, we see multiple of those dart shoot out in... I guess you could say a frag-like pattern. It's basically frags, but, you know, only four directions and not 12 or however much. Okay, now for this mob here. I wonder if the darts work similar to frags, as in... Do the darts... If the dart, I think if the darts were doing damage, this mob would go down a lot earlier. Right now, I think it's only the main click doing damage. So that is, again, four per hit, which is equivalent to 50. 50 uh, clicks. That, that's too long, I think. All right, I'm going to have to use my own manual clicking for 30% faster. And we're going to beat it. Now to think about it, with this upgrade, I think this cursor spot is the best because uh, the darts that go up and down basically get a straight line to maximize damage. Uh, okay, not for these yellows here that go too fast, but... Yeah, get some pops up and down and also to the right. Okay, sadly, round 46 is OP. I'm going to need a... Hang on. Am I dead? Oh, God. I didn't mean to remove that, by the way. But this is going to... Uh, Come down to the wire. Okay, I think I tank. I think I tanked that, or what? Or what? Damn, those space fortified fortified got hands. This is much easier if it's grouped, which means I'm led to believe that I think the darts do more damage. Like overall, when the cursor is allowed to chain damage, like right now, it's not five frags stacked top top each other like darts. Not. It's just one. It seems. Also, we have enough money for an upgrade. The next one. Finger dash, 0.1 second. Okay, I think now we can freely spam click without worrying about, you know, the responsiveness. Okay, watch your 49. It's pretty dense, so it should be uh, fun to see. Here comes the spam clicking. I let some of the balloons get fa far. And now let's push it all back with the power of uh, hypersonic clicks. There we go. <laughs> right to the entrance you go. Spam clicking is much needed still for these mobs here because, yeah, these upgrades, like... They're not increasing my mob damage, which is unfortunate. I'm starting to become lazy, so let's just uh, hold click for here. Luckily, with hold clicking, uh, mobs only get that far in the track, so no big deal. I'm kind of curious how much the next upgrade costs. So, it is sticky clicks. $30,000. This is upgrade 9 out of 11, by the way. Attacks now spawn a dart on screen that lasts for 5 seconds or until it runs out of pierce. Okay, so from that description alone, I don't think the clicking does any extra damage, but... It gives you a buffer, because right now I'm, I'm noticing that nothing happens if I'm not clicking a balloon. I can't, I sadly cannot get those, you know, dart explosions or a any of any kind when they're not targeting, which is bad if uh, I am not aiming properly. So I guess you can say this mod uh, allows me to work on my aim, you know? Guys, balloons is now a shooter game. You gotta click on the balloon's hitbox to be able to, to be able to pop them. So if I'm doing math properly with the 30% slower attack speed, we should be we still be should still be clicking at a seven click per second pace when when held down. Overall, pretty solid. Oh my god, this BFE is gonna take so long. And again, the the power of frags. You saw that we we killed three of the uh, mobs instantly because the quad starts were able to damage them. I hope I can get my uh, sticky clicks like by 63. Yep, money's there, money's there. Even this round's pretty tough. So let's get it, and let's see. So that's kind of cool. Each dart here denotes, I guess, uh, a dart that will eventually explode when it uses up the pierce. Quite useful. Now I don't have to aim. Care about aiming too much? I still will, though. Just because each dart there is only small amount of damage. Okay, let's have some fun here. This upgrade definitely feels satisfying. 
I probably shouldn't place it too far back, though, because you see, it, it, it times out really uh, quickly. So, there's only a buffer of, like, 20, 30 darts on the field. Fair enough, fair enough. Alright, guys, what's the next upgrade? So, coming at 64k, darts on the ground now last for 30 seconds. But it looks like they now have more pierce, 12 damage, and release 8 projectiles on screen. On top of that, double damage. Yep, now that is much needed. Wait, I should probably farm, shouldn't I? How much is the last upgrade, just out of curiosity? Okay, 270. Yes, it's never too late to start farming. Things aren't looking so hot for the ZMD, so I'm just gonna stop at a central market for now. Geez, 75 got melted. Same with 76 here. I guess I could siphon, but I wanna- I, I think I wanna try taking down that ZMG. I feel like fortify mob is gonna be too fast for us. Let me just try something out of curiosity. If I use fire hack, I'm pretty sure this increases the damage of the darts. Would be kind of funny if it did, though. We can tell if it stops clicking or stops dropping, but I don't think it did. Alright, ZMG, here goes nothing. I, I guess, worst case, I will just have to spam click. I think I can click faster than 7, 7 per second, right? I haven't done those tests in a while. So I have no idea how fast my click speed is. But I don't know if it's enough to offset, how, like, how far we off we, we are off here. Sheesh. That's nowhere near close enough. Okay, we'll test that maybe uh, for the next ZMG round. Let me just see if the following works. If I siphon... Nice, nice, nice. We have now turned the ZMG to BFE. Also, crap, there's a bug. Uh, I can't click anymore. Okay, note to self. Do not back out of the game because uh, apparently your clicks reset. And uh, I guess the only thing I can do to fix it would be to buy permaclicks right now. Okay, let me sell this and... Uh, sorry, guys. We're gonna have to use the forbidden cast drops too. I think unbug it. Yep, purchased and now it works again. But yeah, keep that in mind for next time. No backing out of the game. Gotta beat everything in one try, so uh, good luck. So on that note, probably a wise idea to get a spike factory in the back. Just so I don't have to worry about, you know, if my clicks somehow aren't strong enough. Can we even really call it a clicker at this point? Because I'm pretty sure with points you revive, you are definitely better off just holding it down. Unless you're like a god clicker. I, for one, am loving the 30 second lifespan, though. We can even do that to, like, you know, make some funny stuff on the map. Don't mind if I do, guys. Just writing a very, very, very important message. Perfect. Also, as you can see, now the darts are true frag bombs. They shoot in eight directions. And the, the, the ZMG in the back actually popped first. That's not surprising because, uh, again, due to the way the frags work. Now, 250k is a lot to say about four, so we gotta somehow survive without the spike factory. Even for now. Luckily, the way we're looking right now, I don't think we need any help until around 100 hits. Then that's probably where we'll use a thing or two. 96 here. Just also not even close. I think 97 here is gonna probably give us some troubles. Yep, unsurprisingly, a single tower here is just not it. Luckily, once that back beef B or back ZMG pops, it creates a chain reaction for the first ZMG. And so that will be taken care of nice and simply. Okay, 98's good, 99. Piece of cake, round 100. Right, I can't restart, so what would I do to quickly beat the batter? Well, probably a first strike, right? Yeah. Here, one first strike. All these all these darts on the field right now still have not put a dent in the bad. Now think about it, what would be a good combo with this dart? Um, This clicking dart thing? Or a damage giver, so... Uh, nice, the first strike was timed properly, but yeah. Glue Storm, I think would probably work, right? Allow all of our darts to do plus 2 damage. That might help with a single target problem, but... Yeah, again for now, uh, Wall Street please, thanks. And, uh, hope this clicking thing can survive until the next bad round. In the meantime, I guess we can show, uh, I can show you what the last upgrade has in store for us. So, nuclear clicks. 0 0.01 attack rate. Now that is a must-get. Dart damage and pierce doubled. And also has 16 smaller darts with also double stats. One could say that upgrade looks nuclear. I mean, if it's already doing, like, the 10th upgrade is already doing this well against 103, just imagine. You know, somehow I can still beat round simply by not moving my cursor at all. Just holding it down, creating one giant chokehold is honestly not a bad strategy. I mean, there's pretty much no bad strategy here. Just make sure you're uh, getting the maximum amount of darts by holding it down. And nothing shall pass. Uh, actually, hang on, hang on. Oh no, I died. Wait, wait. Well, thank you, Wall Street, for the extra lives that you gave me. Because that mattered. And thank you, I guess, Trojan, too. Because Trojan uh, makes you leak less lives when a mob leaks. Now, that is what I get for not getting Spectre. Also, holy crap. Uh, I'm dead for real this time. Oh. 
I, although I'm pretty sure I get, I, I'm just gonna get the damn thing right now. 270k, right? Yep. Here it is. Nuclear clicks. Let's get it. And wait, this is broken. I can, before I start the round, I can already pre-place starts. Ain't no way. Well, that would have been good to know next round. Anyways, I'm playing. And well, I think we basically just get biggest one explosions from every single dart there. Yep. Fair and balanced, everybody. Fair and balanced. I think this upgrade's already cruel enough to learn, so I, will, I won't abuse the uh, not having auto start on. <laughs> you know, exploit. Just don't mind me creating a giant chokehold. Guys, I hope your eyes are okay. If not, I guess we can lower it slightly. Now, this is nice and all, but you think we're still able to beat uh, bad yet? Well, it is much better than the previous upgrade. We're actually doing... Yeah, it's, it's all damage, guys. Solid. Look. That's 40% through. 60. And again, we're having the same phenomena. Back bad popping first. Front bad popping when? Okay, now. And the back bad popping when? Meanwhile, all this time, like, I guess since the darts aren't expiring, because I think I have to use up all the pierce before they explode, we can get damage on the front DMG and the back bad at the same time, so. Easy. Easy. Well, what more is there to see with this ultimate upgrade? Probably not much. I think it, at this rate, pretty obviously beats the next at least 15 rounds, at least until 140. <laughs> I guess let's also see how the point of death strategy fares. Here's 131. Prepare for some lag to to commence. Somehow, it, it didn't. Okay, now it's exploding everything. But I was like, somehow it, it's still... Some of the FZMG at the front tanked all those darts. What a chad. That is one tanky boy. I'm not gonna lie, my finger's kinda tired holding the uh, same button down for like the last 10-15 minutes. I thought 138 would be a problem, but nah, we're good, we're good. Nothing gets past our darts. And now for the f bad. Now, because it is also the first balloon, I think I have to employ the plus damage giver strategy. So let me quickly get this, this, and uh, this. I have to stop clicking for like briefly. Briefly, well, hopefully that's okay. Now our clicks do 11 extra damage. But there was, there's no way without this we're gonna pop it. I don't even know if we're gonna pop it. With it being the only damage on screen, yeah, all those 16 darts are just gone to complete waste. Yep, even with that, we're not going to pop it. Even with the help of the, what, Kerbal doing 16k damage? Nope. I'm going to have to have Permacite tank this, and then... Uh, first strike that. It didn't even work. Well, that bat's got hundreds of thousands of HP, so I'm not surprised. GG, though. Thanks for watching. I had a lot of fun with this mod. I rate 8 out of 8. Subscribe to see what's in store next.